A political earthquake in a conservative stronghold. That's how the Colorado Sun described independent candidate Yemi Mobolade's historic victory in the race for mayor of Colorado Springs. Yemi Mobolade is a Nigerian immigrant and a businessman who first moved to the United States 27 years ago as an international student. He's the first elected black mayor of Colorado Springs after defeating former Colorado Republican Secretary of State Wayne Williams with 57.5% of the vote. It was truly a political earthquake. Colorado Springs had never elected a non-Republican candidate for mayor. Wayne Williams is a normal Republican, though. He didn't support election denialism, which likely cost him Republican votes in a changing electorate in Colorado Springs. Wayne Williams conceded to Yemi Mobilade and congratulated him on an excellent campaign. Something rare to see in the era of election denialism. Here's what some of what here's some of what Yemi Mobilade said to voters in his victory speech. We stand on a mountain of a new era in our city's history. Yes, Colorado Springs will become an inclusive, culturally rich, economically prosperous. economically prosperous, safe, and vibrant city on a hill that shines brightly. To anyone who doubts that politics can be disrupted, reformed, and transformed into a hopeful experience, tonight is for you. To the citizen who has lost hope in this great experiment and a dream of our founders, what we call the United States of America, tonight is for you. <laughs> to one in this room who is in utter disbelief that Republicans and Democrats and independents can work together, <laughs> can find common ground, maybe even like each other. Tonight is for you. Joining us now is Yemi Mobilade, the mayor-elect of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, congratulations, sir. Thank you. I, 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 I want I have so many things I want to discuss with you, but I want to start on that last point uh, that, that Republicans and independents and Democrats can work together, that maybe they can even like each other. Tonight, President Biden gave a speech in which he emphasized bipartisanship. He thanked the Speaker uh, of the House. It's not something you see very often with people from two different parties. The man you ran against, the man you defeated, the former Secretary of State, called you and was gracious in the way people are supposed to be gracious in Democratic elections. Yeah, that's uh, that's how politics should be done. And I have a I have a theory, I have a vision that I believe that um, in local politics and cities like mine, we get to transform and disrupt. Um, American politics in a way and remind ourselves this is how it should be done. So I'm really proud of Mr. Williams for calling to concede and um, showing, expressing his support for me and for the city of Colorado Springs. Let's talk about um, your view of citizenship that you articulated in your speech. I, I too, am African born and I'm also recently an American citizen. And, and those of us who go through that process, who read the Constitution when we get sworn in, who have to study for a test, I, I, I certainly don't want to ever suggest that we value this more than anyone else does. But you you do you are caused to articulate what citizenship in this great experiment in democracy is meant to be. And, and that came out in your speech. Oh, absolutely. I, I've been in the country for 27 years. I've been a sitting citizen just the last six years. You I know what it's like to be on the outside looking in and and now to be able to fully participate in this great experiment it's it's an honor it's a blessing and uh, I, that's part of the immigrant story and by the way we're a nation of immigrants mm -hmm. and i have heard the immigrant story is just being able to see things with fresh eyes and see the opportunities i often tell friends and colleagues and my resident residents in this great city that um things i know that things are not perfect but we still have so much to be thankful for and so many opportunities um in front of us let's capitalize on this. And that's, that is my unique perspective as an immigrant. I get to remind ourselves about the best of who we are 
as Americans. But then you come, you come to this country and you have decided that you are either, whether you want to call it giving back or being a full participant, you're doing the thing a lot of people can do. They can run for office locally. They can support candidates locally. They can at least go to their school board meetings and, and, and be part of the discussions going on. This is part of the answer. When you say we have much to do, you're the example of what doing looks like. Absolutely. Get involved. I mean, if you had asked me, I mean, why did you run? Um, you have to be the change that you want to see in the world. At some point, you instead of looking to others, you look within yourself and you raise your hands and say, all right, here I am. Send me. And that's that's why I, I got involved. I I believe our nation, I believe our world is hungry for a new type of politics, one that transcends a the, the dividing lines of politics, one that transcends the fighting and the name calling and the canceling and just brings us back to who we are as humans and how and it's from that wellspring that we can get things done. And it's why I'm really proud of this great experiment that is happening in my city of Colorado Springs. Well, all of you in Colorado Springs have done right by uh, by this election, you and your opponent and uh, and the campaign. So it, uh, it was a pleasure to watch and it's a pleasure to meet you. And I suspect we'll be talking many more times. The mayor elect Yemi Mobilade of Colorado Springs. Thank you for joining us. Tonight's thank you for having me.